how I animated my umbrella using path keyframes. And I'm also going to show you how you can set up uh, the Duic slider, which I use to um, do the repeated opening and closing motion of my umbrella. So let's go ahead and put in the files. We want to make sure they have the retain layer sizes on them. So we'll go to comp one, we'll drop our open umbrella layers in. We'll open that comp and we're going to start off with the center panel of the umbrella so we can get rid of these for now. Okay, so right now this layer is an illustrator file or a vector illustrator file and so what we want to do, we want a shape layer. So we're going to right click and we're going to go create shapes from vector layer. And so now that that's uh, its own shape, we can actually get rid of that. And so this is the front like center panel and it's the open position. So we're going to want to go to our the closed layers and we want the closed uh, front center panel. And we can just drag and drop that in here and it just pastes it right in and this doesn't need to be its own shape layer this is purely for reference at this point so um, if we zoom in you can see that the top of the closed panel and the open panel don't line up so what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to view and show rulers and we're going to want to put a ruler in to make a point like right at the center of the top of the open umbrella because that's the one we're going to be animating so we don't want it at the top of the closed one and so if we go if we click our closed one we can move it around and if you hit shift it will automatically snap to that center point and so now these are all lined up okay and so now we're going to want to animate the path of the open umbrella down to the closed position. So we are going to open up the layer. We want to go to contents, group, path, and we're going to want to set, um, we're going to want to set path keyframes. And before we set that, uh, we want to make sure that the amount of anchor points on each, um, closed and open path matches. So on the closed path, um, there's four anchor points, the top, the two sides, and then the center. Um, on this first, on the open um, panel, you can see that I do not have four keyframes. I only have three, or anchor points. I have three, one, two, three. So if you run into that problem, you can either go back and adjust it in the Illustrator file and then rewrite it, yada, yada, yada. Or you can come up here to your pen tool and you can add an anchor point that way. And so now, now we can come down and check mark or click on the little stopwatch to set our positions. So let's go forward about there and we can come in here. anchor points down to the position we want them to be in and you can adjust the handles for each of these that makes an anchor point for some reason and you don't want that so now that the bottom is done you can go up to the top and adjust these the thing with the um handles you want them to be about as even as you can get them because if they're different um they can have a different uh, animation of uh, like 
how do I explain this? It has like a different way of animating. If if it happens, I'll show you. But you're gonna want them to be about similar. So now that we've done that, you can see that the path animates from open to close in this section. And this is where we are going to add in our uh, do it slider. Um, and that will like, when we set that, it'll allow the, like the repeated opening and closing of the umbrella panel. So we're going to go up to window and you're going to open the do it basil. Okay. And you're going to want to come over to links and constraints. You're going to want to open the advanced connector tab and you're going to want to add in a slider, so you're going to create a slider controller, and that will automatically, if you zoom in, it has this circle esque thing, and then it has the button, and you'll see that the button is actually parented to the slider. So, if we want to move, nope. if we want to move the slider, the if you want to move it, you'll need to move the um, the uh, shaper that it's parented to. So, um, to make the uh, slider, we're going to want to open the position on the shape layer. Uh, actually, we're going to rename this slider. So, um, you're going to want to open the position. And if we zoom in, you can see, I don't know how to make that different here. You can see that it has like a constraint around it. So with the position, we're gonna want to make sure that it goes beyond that, um, beyond the constraint, or at least to the end. So that can actually come back a bit. Um, and then we're gonna set the position right there because we want it we don't want it in the center we want it to like bounce back and forth between the two and so we're going to come to the keyframe the close where um your umbrella is going to be closed and so this is at 54 negative 54 we're going to move that all the way up to positive 54 so it's even and then we're going to go the same distance again and then we're going to take it all the way back so that will be one full uh, cycle, as you can see. So now that that's done, um, to put those, to um, add the connector and the panel together, you're going to want to take, you want to highlight the keyframe, your path keyframes on your shape layer, and you'll see that the do it panel changed and there's going to be this option to connect to properties and if you click that it will connect um your shape layer to the slider so you should now that um they're connected the um the shape will move with the slider and the, so you don't have to keep adding continual keyframes for like if I wanted um, if I wanted the umbrella closed again or open again back here I don't need to add another keyframe it'll do it for me the slider will and as you see like the slider only does one cycle and then it stops if you want it to repeat you can come down there's another way to do this but I haven't figured it out yet you can drop down the position menu and this little triangle play button looking thing. You can come over to property and you can go loop out time equals cycle and then the number of keyframes is zero. So if you click that, it'll bring up this little dialog box that you'll just leave as it is. You can click off of it. And then what this does is it repeats this motion. It cycles through it and it will just continuously um, do that. Center panel done. 
We don't need, we can close it up and we don't need the closed anymore. So we can close that up. So now that we've done that, we're going to do the right side. And I'll show you how to connect this panel to the slider again so we don't need to make a second one. That would just be redundant. Um, so again, we'll create shapes from vector layer and we can get rid of that. Um, let's go here. And this is the right side. So we want that. We can drag that in. And you can see how it's not um, lined up like we need. And so that's where the guide rulers come in again. So you move it and you hold shift and it will snap. And um, we don't want that to, to be in the way. So we'll turn that off so we can't see it. So again, we'll drop down contents, group, path. Um, Again, this doesn't have the four um, anchor points. And unless you want to keep doing this, like continuously with each panel, this is why you need to plan this stuff ahead in Illustrator files. So then like when you bring this over, your anchor points will match up. But again, you can always come over to the pen tool and you can add an anchor point. So we're going to path. And then we will move our anchor point it just the way you don't want to do that until you move your slider. You always need to make sure your slider is moved before you start trying to move your anchor points. And so once your slider is moved, you can come back and you can move the anchor points down. To, and you want to get them as close as possible because you want everything to line up. And if, if they don't line up, you can always come back and adjust it um, after. That, that's the connector. You actually don't need that turn down. So my geometry was off on my closed one. I actually have an extra like make a point right there that you don't need, but it's supposed to follow this. So follow the like how the the number of anchor points you actually need. Okay. So now that we have make sure those are roughly the same. Now that we have our Closed uh, path set with the right panel. There you can. Yeah. Okay. I deleted the anchor point handle here. That's okay. Roughly. Okay, so if we turn that back on. There. And honestly, it covers it up, so it really, you could leave it if it bothered, if it like, didn't bother you, but, okay. So, if we play forward in motion, we can see that our, our second one just stops, 
And so then we can connect it to our slider like our first one did. So we will highlight the keyframes, come up to connect properties, and that will connect it to our slider. And then if we hit go, it will uh, animate both of them. And you can, depending on your preferences, you can either set your easy ease um, keyframes on the slider position so that the, so that every single um, um, anchor point keyframe connected to the slider will have the same ease in, ease out. Or you could put the easy, the easy ease like on these keyframes, but there's no um, guarantee that they'll be they'll match up perfectly. So now that we've set those um, easy ease on, it should look a little more fluid. Yeah. So and you just repeat the process for all the rest of, um, you just repeat the same process for everything else that you want to be connected to the slider. And done all the other panels and I've recolored them to like the color scheme that I used for my final. I added the handle and the little stick thing. And so with all of them together, you get the final animation. Um, a shape using the path keyframes and the Duic slider tool. I hope that this was helpful for you guys.